Emerging preclinical evidence continues to shed light on important questions in angiogenesis research, including how and for how long to optimally target critical angiogenic growth factors. Today's program explores a number of considerations regarding direct and continuous inhibition of vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF, as an anti-tumor strategy. Program topics include the genetic stability of VEGF throughout tumor development, direct and specific targeting of the VEGF ligand, and ongoing effects of continued VEGF inhibition. As observed in preclinical models, considerable variation may exist in the genetic stability of important anti-tumor targets. For example, kinase receptors on tumor cells may be susceptible to genetic mutation. Moreover, the process of tumor proliferation is mediated largely through autocrine signaling, in which a tumor cell secretes an agent that acts upon the same cell type. Genetic mutations within these cells may destabilize the pathway, potentially limiting the ability to continually target this process. In the example of the VEGF ligand, we find a genetically stable protein that is part of a predominantly indirect paracrine signaling pathway the angiogenic pathway in which the secretion of growth factors from tumor cells affects activity on nearby yet distinct endothelial cells. The stability of the VEGF ligand and receptors in non-cancerous cells makes continued targeting of this pathway an important anti-tumor strategy. In addition to being genetically stable over time, VEGF is continuously expressed throughout the development of many tumor types. In fact, VEGF is the only angiogenic factor known to be present throughout the entire tumor life cycle. As the tumor develops, it may begin to activate secondary angiogenic pathways. As these secondary pathways emerge, VEGF continues to be overexpressed and remains one of the critical mediators of angiogenesis. While VEGF is the predominant mediator of angiogenesis, there are different strategies for inhibiting its pathway. The two primary strategies include inhibiting either the VEGF ligand or the VEGF receptor. Anti-VEGF strategies that specifically target the ligand, such as ligand antibodies, inhibit only the VEGF pathway and therefore may inhibit angiogenesis without disrupting other off-target pathways. Anti-VEGF strategies that target the receptor, such as tyrosine kinase inhibitors, have a wider range of inhibitory effects and may disrupt other secondary pathways that are also mediated through receptor kinases. It has been observed in preclinical models that continued inhibition of the VEGF pathway may provide important ongoing antivascular effects, including inhibition of new and recurrent vessel growth. Cessation of VEGF suppression diminishes the inhibition of angiogenesis. In fact, in preclinical models, withdrawal of an anti-VEGF agent has been shown to result in rapid regrowth of tumor vasculature. This vessel regrowth may be particularly rapid along the basement membrane tracts left by previously regressed vasculature. In light of the proposed ongoing effects of VEGF inhibition, it is important to consider the possible reasons for tumor progression, which may vary widely among different anti-tumor strategies. With agents that target the tumor directly, progression often occurs through mutational pathways. First, Tumor cells emerge that are less sensitive to the therapy. These less sensitive cells then repopulate the tumor, facilitating tumor progression. As a result, the effectiveness of many tumor targeting agents may diminish over time. With agents that target VEGF directly, tumor progression may develop through non-mutational pathways. As we saw earlier, the VEGF ligand is a genetically stable protein that is continually expressed throughout tumor development. As the tumor matures, however, secondary angiogenic pathways may become activated that contribute to further tumor development. Because VEGF remains the predominant mediator of angiogenesis, one area of anti-angiogenesis research that is being pursued is maintaining direct VEGF inhibition as tumors progress and supplementing it with selective targeting of other emergent pathways.